81. 80. 79. 78. 77. 76. 75. 72 71 70 69 68 67 66 65 64 63 62 61 
60. 59. 58. 57. 56. 55. 54. 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 9, 8, Sedm, šest, pět, čtyři, tři, dva, jedna, nula.
Triplet tiling, fifth order, tempo five to four to three to two to one. Solution one, ordered by entrance. One, five, one, five. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs>
origin of the Fokker organ's special tuning has to do with music theory and harmonic theory. <clears throat> it approximates the tuning of the Baroque period and greatly expands them. But the scale has another powerful property, 31, which is the number of steps per octave in this system, is a prime number. Thanks to this fact, intervals smaller than an octave can always be multiplied into big chords, and every interval generates its own universe of harmonic color. Also, multiplication of intervals leads to other non-octave intervals. Using interval multiplication, we can create strange chords and strange progressions between them. Put this way, this mean, may seem very abstract, but we can also just listen to how the operation works. First, let's hear what it means to add intervals to one another. An interval is the distance between two notes. For example, here is an interval called the perfect fifth. Now we add another interval to that on top, say a major second. The result is a new, bigger interval called the major sixth. <clears throat> Likewise, intervals can be multiplied. Let's just listen to what this sounds like. For starters, we will be multiplying intervals by two. That is, we will add them to themselves. The very smallest interval we have, specific to this organ, is called the diesis. I call it interval number one. Adding it to itself is interval number two, called the chromatic half step. Adding that half step to itself gives the so-called neutral second, interval number four. Multiplying that by two gives the minor third, interval number eight. Multiplying the minor third by two gives the diminished fifth, interval number 16. And multiplying the diminished fifth by two take us back to the beginning, or in the exotic language of mathematical group theory, in the multiplicative group C31 star, the element 2 has order 5. The five chords that we got in the process form what is called an orbit of multiplication by 2. If we start out from a different interval and multiply by two, we always get such an orbit of five chords. For example, again, starting from the perfect fifth. Add it to itself. We get the major second. Then we get instead of two by stacking intervals four times. This also gives an orbit of five chords. Let's construct a circular chord progression in five voices. Again, we'll start from the fifth, then stack that with three more fifths, then stack the resultant intervals, and repeat the process, listening to the harmonies that come out. <laughs>
not all multiplications have order five. For instance, multiplying by five has order three. Starting again from the fifth, I'm taking five of them now. We get the seventh. Five of those. Six gives orbits of six chords, which is an even number. Because of this, the cycle will feature the same intervals in upwards as well as downwards directions. This time, we'll start from the diesis again and play a couple of cycles. We will also be changing registers for variety. examples of multiplications of orders 5, 6, and 3. These numbers are divisors of 30, which is one less than 31, and that is no coincidence. Indeed, multiplications of orders 2 and 10 also exist, but unfortunately Edda would need more than two 10 fingers and two feet to play with. But some progressions with orders 15 and 30 that you can play do exist, and they produce two longer pieces. So multiplying by three gives a cycle of 30 chords in four voices, one for each of the 30 intervals. Let's have a quick tour of the harmonic universe of the Fokker organ. Finally, multiplying by 9 <coughs> yields a cycle of 15 harmonies. These are very dense chords of 10 voices. We'll assemble them note by note and then fade into the next one, linking these 15 harmonic worlds in one process and let them unfold all their rich and strange colors for us to hear.
study in the ancient Greek enharmonic scale.
Duplet tiling, fifth order, tempo five to four to three to two to one. Solution three, ordered by ratio five to one to one to one. Two, seven, two, seven. One, two, five, seven. One, two, five, seven. One, two, five, six, seven, nine. One, two, five, six, seven, nine. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
um, let's imagine this is a, a dissolute um, sort of beer killer in Vienna, and it's perhaps Susma and Del Ponte <laughs> playing dice. And being very constructive, they're not just playing for money, they're playing in order to compose by a special method. Okay, now we'll start. So I'm throwing my C major dice now, yes? Okay. And immediately I come up with a seven. So we look in the first column of this patent system, and that gives us number 152, which is this amazing little melody. And now I'll throw the dice. And I thought we'd, I'd do the contradance. You do a, a minuet while I compose a contradance. And I get this tune. Ah. Makes one wonder if um, perhaps Haydn had had a game. It's suggestive. It's suggestive. So it's my turn. Yes. Does a five fulfill your expectations? Yes. So five in column two. Give us number, tune number 60, which is oh, same again. Hmm. Well, lucky. Let me try my second bit of contradance. A six. A six, which gives us in the second column tune number 114, which goes something like this. It sounds as if a little more wine is needed to <laughs> help this along. It's, a, it's, it's staggering somewhat. Another six. And in column three, that will give us number 27. And number 27, tune number 27 goes. Your turn. And I have another turn. It's a seven this time. Seven, and that gives us tune number hundred. No, tune number eight. Are we allowed at this junction uh, to see how far we've got? Yes, you've got. Yeah, that's pretty good. Modulations in this schedule uh, here yes, at all. I think so. Yes. Let's try. Here's my next there, nine. That gives us tune number 156 in column four, which is. You seem to have a five. Which in column four gives number tune number 122, which goes. You know, I, I think they, do you think they use them for ready composing? If, if you had to have a whole evening of dancing and you didn't have anything to play, and you didn't have Mozart to compose it for you? It would be fairly restful at the tempo we're going to go. Right? <laughs> you, I think probably you do wouldn't the, ever get round to the dancing. No, you do the, I think the, the dice throwing in the afternoon and probably the dancing in the evening. Let me try again. Eleven. And that's column five, and that's 235, and indeed, it's a modulation. So we must go on. Oh, we must. Fortunate to contrive. Let's continue. Seven. We've got two number 110. Sounds as if I only have one throw left there. <laughs> and for you? Um, my throw is here. An eight. eight. And that's tune number 63, which is... You too. Me too. The final throw brings us ten. And that is number 100. And there's a first time bar and a second time bar. The first time bar is... And the second time bar, going on to another key, is... <laughs> and for and you? For me. After 
few more of those glasses and a few more hours have passed between Da Ponte and Chicaneda. This is what we came up with. Here's Da Ponte's minuet. How many marks for that? Yes, seven, I suppose. And possibly here ten. is guttural old Chicaneda with his contradance. <laughs> This six this a uh, six now this is a uh, the six now. This is a dupe of the six now. This is a dupe tile of all the six now. This is a duplet tiling of all the six now.
First week, Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Second week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Third week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Fourth week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Fifth week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 
Saturday. Sunday. Sixth week. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Seventh week, Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Eighth week. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Ninth week. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Tenth week. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. 
Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Eleventh week, Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Twelfth week. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Thirteenth week. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday.